Well, Tunisia's president, Kais Saeed, has published a long-awaited constitution that will be to a referendum next month. It greatly expands his own powers and limits those of the parliament. Most political parties have already rejected the July 25th referendum. Saeed has ruled by decree since last summer when he brushed aside the parliament and the country's existing constitution in a step his foes have called a coup. Critics now say the country sliding towards one-man rule. And for more, we can speak to our correspondent, Fadil Ali Riza, standing by in the capital, Tunis. Hello to you, Fadil. Uh, people still pouring over this draft document. But, but who wrote this new constitution, and what does it say? Yeah, well, even uh, the, the many parties, uh, many institutions uh, boycotted uh, basically participating in the drafting of this constitution. So really, it ended up being very much the, the president and a few uh, legal specialists who are close to him who ended up drafting this constitution. It was quite a, a rush job. And so we have uh, quite a short document, a lot less detailed than the previous constitution. Um, it, it does seem to increase the powers of the president significantly. Uh, there is a new second uh, uh, assembly in the parliament, one that represents regions. Uh, we also do see that the security forces appear to have uh, greater uh, powers, less oversight over them than in the previous constitution. But again, there's quite a lot of details in there that uh, people are still pouring over at the moment. Yeah, and Fadil, a lot of uh, unease about it, isn't it? I mean, Tunisia experiencing its worst political crisis since the 2011 revolution. What's some of the reaction been in the country? Yeah, the, the, there's quite a few crises that are continuing, particularly on the economic front. Um, it, certainly, we've seen a problem of uh, Tunisia actually importing grains, um, which bread is a, is a staple. So people are not necessarily as focused on the constitution and the uh, the new constitution process and the referendum. There's expectations that the turnout will be very low for the referendum in 20, on the 25th. Uh, we're also seeing that uh, tomorrow we're expected to see the major union decide whether they'll be voting for or against uh, this referendum. Uh, uh, constitution during the referendum that maybe the key uh, vote we'll see is uh, one of the, the biggest institutions that has played a significant uh, opposition role in recent weeks um, and certainly has been uh, uh, trying to get the president to focus more on economic issues and less on some of the uh, uh, legislative and constitutional uh, issues that he has focused on. All right, Fadil. Thank you very much, Fadil Ali Riza, reporting from Tunis.